Hi guys, I'm Prateek and in this video, we're going to understand what expectations should you have from technical analysis. So, can you really double your money in a short period of time? Well, here are some things that you should think about. Now, it's unlikely that you're going to double your money every trade or every few trades. In fact, you should set realistic expectations. And I know the definition of realistic expectation can be difficult to set. But here's a general thing that you should know. Nifty CAGR return is about 12 to 13% a year. So your expectation should be around that. Now, if you think that you'll become a very good trader, it could be slightly more than that. If you think you'd be average, you'd be around that. If you set an expectation of 30, 40, 50%, What's going to happen is that you will have that expectation, you will take undue risk to attain that number and your risk of ruin or the probability of you losing a large amount of your capital or even your entire capital increases significantly. So the better thing to do is have a low expectation, learn this trade skill really well and try to be in the market for as long as possible because people who've created wealth have created it over a period of time no one became rich over a few months. You shouldn't think about that either. Another thing you should know is that opportunities don't come by daily. Don't try to find a trade every day. There could be days when you don't have trades at all and that is fine. A common saying is having no position is a position. And don't expect all trades in technical analysis to lead to a profit. We'll actually talk about money management and a little bit about risk in this module. So you'll understand that point a little better. So because setting expectation is directly going to affect your bank account, your skill and your psychology, let's spend a little bit more time understanding this. The first one of setting expectation are your trades, right? So you'll take trades, Technical analysis is generally used from a short-term perspective. For a longer-term perspective, people generally use fundamental analysis. Now, that doesn't mean it's an if and an or. You could combine both of these techniques, but generally that's the time frame and the point of view for both of these techniques. The next thing is your return expectation from TA. Now, the return expectation from technical analysis Generally, over the short term, you should not expect huge returns. Then is your holding period. Actually, I'll use my watch here to denote time. And with technical analysis, generally your holding period is a few minutes up to a few weeks, which could be a few months, but not more than that. We'll also explore time frames in the videos ahead. And finally, you have risk. This is probably the most important part of trading. Managing risk is actually 99% of your job. A trade means you have an exit intent, which means once you enter, you have an expectation of an exit in a fixed period of time. This could be a stop loss, this could be a profit target, it could be a time target, but you have an intent to exit. That's what makes it trading. And if a trade goes against you, you actually exit. Like I said, most of your job is managing risk. So you don't want to lose more than a certain portion of your capital as a maximum loss on any particular trade. So now that your expectations are set, now comes the fun part. Let's learn about chart types and how charting works. We're going to learn that in the next video. And key takeaways from this video are 